When the truth hurts your feelings. When the truth hurts your feelings. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All five channel names are pinned to the top of the comment section or the description box below. So when the truth hurts your feelings, you know, do you get mad? Do you get upset at the person? I don't want to talk to you ever again because maybe what they told you um, had truth to it or some truth to it or maybe it was completely truth. Maybe it wasn't truth at all. It was just their opinion or maybe it was a misunderstanding on their part or a misinterpretation. How we handle criticism reflects who we are. Now, if someone criticizes me and it's a nasty criticism, I'm going to take a step back. But there again, it's in how I handle it. Some people I would ignore if I knew it was met with a nasty intention. But there are some people who tell us something that hurts our feelings, that in their mind, whether it's correct or not, um, they're being as truthful as they can with what they see. And often that can give us enlightenment, maybe something we're missing, overlooking, or already know. And so it's in how we handle how our reaction is that reflects who we are. And so I've had people say things, that's the ugliest dress I've ever seen. And I'm taken back and I'm like, I didn't think it was ugly, but you know, I listen to what they have to say. Somebody else may tell me it's the most beautiful dress they have to say. So now I'm confused. But I listen to both and then I make my own decision. Just because someone views something a certain way does not necessarily mean I'm going to go according to what they say or that I will view it that way. I may be perfectly happy with that dress, love that dress, and I may realize that some people may find it ugly and other people may love that dress. Either way, I'm going to listen to that input if it's coming from a good place. If it's coming from a negative place, a dark place, someone just wants to put me down, I don't listen to it. I walk it away. And yet, I see people all the time and how they react to criticism that is meant with good intent. Some people can come across abrasively when they're giving you um, criticism, like the old uncle or old aunt who sits at the dinner table and just says something that makes everybody cringe but everybody also knows it's the truth. And so, you know, I appreciate positive input and positive input can come in the form of things that we don't necessarily like to hear. And yet if it's designed to make me a better person, I'm going to listen to it whether I implement what they say or not. I may not even agree with it, but their intent was good. Or was it? If it wasn't good intent, then I'm probably going to back away from that person because, well, they likely have a problem and it could be based on jealousy. It could be based on uh, they're getting false information. It could be whatever. Um, but it's in how I handle it that's going to reflect who I am. Either way, whether it's coming from a, a place of not good intention or whether it's coming from a place of good intention, it's in how I handle it. With people who are with not good intention, I may listen, but then I back off. If it's with good intention, I tend to say, thank you very much for your input. I appreciate it. And I may agree with it. I may not agree with it. I may implement some of it. I may not implement any of it. I may implement all of it. And success is part of listening to what other people have to say because often it can give us important cues. One person may love the dress, another person may not like it. So now we realize that some people will love that dress and some people may not like it. So it basically comes down to our reaction and how we handle criticism and what we take home from it. You know, I've had some criticism that I did not like, but I reacted politely, kindly. And the more I thought on it, I thought, you know what, they're right. And so I made the necessary changes in my life and I was very grateful to them. And it actually kind of brought us closer. And so there's really a difference between correction and criticism. And so perhaps it's really correction. I've talked a lot about the difference between correction and criticism. So you can go look at those videos. Excuse me, the, the pot fell off the being, I'm steaming broccoli and asparagus, so I have to pick that up. <laughs> and so there's a big difference between criticism and correction. correction. Correction is meant to help you, and criticism is meant to put you down. But they, most, they may sound very similar or look very similar, but so it's very important for us to know the difference between correction and criticism, okay? And be thankful for the right correction. 
from my house to yours. May God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.